Rabbi Rabbi li. So you would say this twice or thrice, and this is something that's said while. So remember, you're prostrating twice. So once you prostrate, you say Allahu Akbar. You sit up, and in that in that position, you're saying this two times or three times, and then you go for prostration again. So we'll take a look at what this means and how do we say the pronunciation. And with this, we would actually have completed one unit. So in the next episode, inshallah, God willing, I will cover, uh, you know, a recap of what the first unit or first wrap looks like. So let's take a look at what this means. So this is you're asking, oh Allah, oh my Lord. And again, the word Rob, we talked about it, creator, owner, governor of affairs, sustainer. Forgive me. Forgive me. So this is a very important reminder of uh, seeking forgiveness. And knowing that Allah is very forgiving and Allah does not expect us to be perfect. So a lot of time when I work with new Muslims and, you know, we, we all make mistakes, but sometimes we come with the attitude that, look, I have to be perfect. And, you know, if somebody would miss one prayer, then they would say, ah, what's the point? I just don't want to pray. Or they would commit some other sin and they would say, ah, oh, what's the point of praying? But to realize that, look, you're not going to be perfect. It's a journey. It's a journey. It's not like a one-time switch. So you would always have ups and downs. You would always you know, fall short on something. But that does not mean that you know if you fall down, you have to get up. You have to rebound and take on and pick up the next thing. And this is very important to accept because if you're going to have that mindset of like, oh, I'm perfect. I'm not going to make mistakes. Well, you, you will just hurt yourself. Okay, so from being humble, it's also to realize that I will make mistakes. I will do things that I did not want to do. And even during the prayer, like, you know, maybe my focus would disappear. Maybe I would start thinking about something. So these things help us, you know, within the prayer to ask Allah to forgive our shortcomings, to our, you know, uh, mistakes and our sins and outside of the prayer as well. So always, you know, remembering this thing. And even outside of the prayer, if we make some mistakes, if we do something that we shouldn't have done, to have this rebound ritual to, you know, just go back to Allah. When we make mistakes or we sin against Allah, we transgress against Allah, we don't run away from Allah, but we run to Allah. And realizing that, like, look, He is very merciful, is very forgiving, and to ask for His forgiveness. So there are two extremes. One is like, okay, you know, you don't care and you keep making mistakes and you keep doing sins. And then you say, okay, Allah, forgive me. That's a careless attitude. And the other one is like, you do care, but you ask Allah for forgiveness because, you know, things would happen. And that's the middle path. And you take measure to avoid that from happening in the future. You regret what has happened. And then the third extreme is that you're like, okay, you know what? If I can't be perfect, I might just give it all up. So let's be in the middle path. Okay, let's take a look at the details of the pronunciation. So you have capital R here for heaviness, rob. Okay, here you have B, which is simple ba in English. And then you have a new letter. That's why I have two letters to represent that. And that's the letter that comes from the top of the throat. It's called ra, ri, ru. Okay, so that's the letter just to give you how it sounds like. Here it would be rob, bil, fir. Very simple, fir. Li, okay, li. So it's not li, it's li. Okay, so that's why I have two eyes. So that's it. Rabbil fili, Rabbil fili. Inshallah, God willing, in the next episode, I will recap the whole unit. And um, yeah, that, that will be actually next episode. I'll make a uh, episode about how do we end the prayer, and then I'll make a recap of the whole unit, and then we'll go into what's remaining. Okay.